Hello, Almasum Elementary students. It's time for English. Are you ready? Six grade from acceleration program. Let's go. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's nice to see you again, kids. Okay, kids. Let's start our lesson with story, and the title is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She had long curly blonde hair. She went for a walk in the forest. Pretty soon, she came upon a house. She knocked, and when no answer, she walked right in. At the table in the kitchen. There were three bowls of porridge. Cody Locks was hungry. She tasted the porridge from the first bowl. Ouch! This porridge is too hot! She exclaimed. So she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. Oh! This porridge is too cold! She said. So she tasted the last bowl of porridge. Ah! This porridge is just right! She said happily, and she ate it all up. After she had eaten the three bears' breakfast, she decided to was feeling a little tired. So she walked into the living room, where she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat on the first chair to rest her feet. Oh, this chair is too big! She exclaimed. So she sat on the second chair. Mm, this chair is too big too. She whined. So she tried the last and smallest chair. Ah, this chair is just right. She sighed. But just as she sat down onto the chair, it broke into pieces. Ouch! Goldilocks was very tired by this time, so she went upstairs to the bedroom. She lay down on the first bed, but it was too hot. Then she lay down on the second bed, but it was too soft. Then she lay down on the third bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping. The three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge," growled Papa Bear. "Someone's been eating my porridge," said the Mama Bear. "Someone's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up," cried the baby bear. "Someone's been sitting on my chair," growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting on my chair," said the mama bear. "Someone's been sitting on my chair, and they've broken it all to pieces!" Huh? cried the baby bear. They decided to look around some more, and then went got upstairs to the bedroom. Papa bear growled, "Someone's been sleeping on my bed." Someone's been sleeping on my bed too," said the mama bear. "Someone's been sleeping on my bed, and she's still there!" exclaimed baby bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. She screamed, "Help!" and she jumped up and ran out to the room. Goldilocks ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran away into the forest. And she never returned to the home of the three bears. Okay, kids, that story from Goldilocks and three bears. The moral lesson that we can get out of this story is that it's really not right to get inside a stranger's house. Goldilocks should have waited the owner of the house. And not just entered in it, have eaten and ruined everything. Okay, kids. 
That's all for our lesson today. It's time for you to practice and do the exercise. See you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.